Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be following up on the previous one where I've mentioned all of the new updates on the TradingView board. Now you'll notice in that video that there's two exchanges and the one is Bybit and the other one BitGet. Now I did promise of a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can connect those, so to make this simple, I'm going to break it into two parts. One would be the Bybit setup and the other one the BitGet. So if you're looking to automate your trades from TradingView to your Bybit account, then this video is going to be for you. I will be leaving a link to the other one as well when I finished making it. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. So before we can get started with this, you will need to create an account on Bybit. Now if you don't already have a Bybit account, you can use the link in the description of this video and you can also get a deposit bonus when you make your first deposit. Now if you're already an existing user and you want to switch over to my referral link, you can also use this uh, link in the description, just sign up with a new email and that really helps supporting this channel. Now after you've created that account, you can just go over to your profile section and then you'll see this API. Now before you can create an API, just remember that you need to activate two-factor authentication. So you'll see this as well on the account and security and you can just go ahead and connect that to your uh, phone. So you'll see here at the bottom I already have two different type of uh, API keys but for the purpose of this video I'm going to create another one and we can name that uh, trading board and you need to give this read and write permissions. So this helps to basically uh, open the trades and also read uh, data from your account and here at the bottom you'll see you can just uh, tick on all of the permissions. Now you'll notice that there's going to be a wallet and there's going to be a withdrawal as well. You don't need to activate the withdrawal or even the sub uh, transfers, but for the rest you would need to have the orders and positions. So I'm just selecting this to, to make it easier, but you can disable the basically the withdrawal. So then you just go into submit, and now it's gonna ask you for that two-factor authentication and also for a confirmation on your email. So I'm just quickly going to do that. So after you received your email, you can just type in your two-factor authentication and then you'll see this pop-up message and this is going to give you your API key and your API secret. Now for the next step, you can go to the board. I will leave a link to that description as well. So once you are here on the tradingboard.crawl.com, all you need to do is just sign up with your email and a password. And if you already have an account like uh, me, I'm, I'm logged in already. So you'll see here dashboard and then it's going to take you to this dashboard section. Now for this, we're going to focus on the buy bit part, but first, before you can use this board, you would need to have an active subscription. So I also mentioned in the previous video that you can get one month's uh, free trial by just going to the Discord. So if you don't know where to go to Discord, you'll see this button right here. Just join the Discord. When you are in the Discord, you'll see this page basically that says requirements and how to get your 30 day uh, free access. Now the only requirement is that you use my referral link when you sign up and that's going to be with the Bible link in the description. So then just head over to the Discord and claim your free trial right here. So you just submit that form and then type in your user ID you've used to create the account with after you made a deposit of any size. And then uh, after I've basically accepted the user ID, you can just send me your trading your username and you'll also get a uh, 30 day access to five of our indicators. Now, once I've given you uh, access to the trading board, you will see at the bottom is going to be your, your trial period left, which is going to be 30 days. And then you can go over to the Bybit section. So now this is going to be on how you're actually going to set up your account and then also we're going to be connecting this to TradingView so we can see how it works. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set our API settings. So right here you'll go back to uh, your Bybit account and you can just copy this API key and we paste it in right there and then also the secret. So we'll paste that right here. Now this is going to be your security token and do not share this because basically what it's doing is connecting these keys to this token. Now if you're using the testnet platform, which you can, you can just tick this uh, testnet, but because this is not on the testnet, as you can see it's on Bybit and not testnet.bybit, uh, you, you do not uh, tick that. So this is on a live account. So I'm just gonna save the settings and if they're successful, you'll see that it takes you back to this page. Now you can use this board in two ways. You can either use it from the platform itself, so you can go and type in all of this and place the order, 
or you can use this and you can generate that syntax for trading view sorry uh, so we're going to be doing this for trading view so for that we would need to open up the trading view as well now the way the bot work is you can basically automate any indicator you have or even any trend line or whatever you can set an alert on on trading view so what i mean by that is that if you have let's say a trend line right here as a, let's say a resistance line if you go ahead and you right click on this line you can add an alert on that trend line and you can automate this trend line to do whatever you can set here on the board meaning you can have a buy on that line or even a sell or you can even have it as a close when you generate the closing syntax so you can be creative with this and you can automate it in your uh, everyday trading style or even the strategy you're using now if you want to use our indicators you can also just ask in the discord but when you go to crawl.com slash explore you will see all of our indicators there now for the purpose of this video i'm going to be using one of our indicators so when i go to my invite only scripts so i'm just going to choose one of our indicators uh, for example the one that gives entries and exits so we can use this orca indicator and uh, under the settings we can just enable the exits as well now the way this works is we're going to automate that when there's a long signal we're going to enter a buy and also we can do exits or we can set this within the the platform itself so we can set a fixed take profit and stop loss as you can see here at the bottom now we'll decide on how we do that but let's first get the long and the short uh, set up so to do this we go back to our board and we're going to say the symbol is on btc usdt and we're going to start off by doing the buy signal now you can choose the dollar or percentage amount so let's say i only want to use 10 percent of my account for this trade and i want to use isolated 10x leverage now i don't want to use a trading stop and there's also going to be no reversal so now we're going to decide on do we want to have full or partial exits so if you provide a tr basically an exit right here you don't need to go and set up the exits on the uh, the webhooks so i'm going to do it on the webhooks just to show you how that works so we can leave it like it is and we can click on get syntax now you'll see it uh, here on the right so i'm just going to click on copy go back to our trading view and create a new alert now we're going to select the indicator and then we're going to go on long so we want to set this on once per bar and we want to paste in that syntax right here and then under notifications we want to set our url so go back to your board copy this link and you'll see it's copied and then you're going to paste it in uh, under notifications this webhook url and you just paste that in now keep in mind that this is for bybit and for bitget this would be slash bitget and again end it with that slash so we can now just go ahead and click on create and now it will basically create the, this uh, long syntax or trade for us and we just do the same for the shorts so we're going to go on uh, crawl orca indicator and enter the short now the only thing that we really need to uh, change is going to be the side and that's going to be the cell so again at the bottom generate the new syntax and you'll see it now says cell we're going to copy that and we're just going to paste it in right here uh, remember that again we want to choose once per bar so it fires every time it, uh, the signal happens okay so now we have our entry set and every time there's a long signal we would enter a long uh, on buy bid and every time there's going to be a short is going to enter that sell uh, trade for us now as you can see there's still this long exits and the short exits and since we didn't uh, basically set a take profit or stop loss in the syntax right here we don't have any exit parameters set for our trade so we need to go and uh, basically add our exit flags now and you'll see if you scroll up we have this close section now all we need to do is uh, provide it with the symbol that we have the trade open with and the position we have it on so again we're going to click on get syntax we're going to copy that and now we're going to create another alert on the indicator and this is going to be the exit long once per bar and we're just going to paste that in right here and again for the cell is pretty simple now we just need to go ahead and say we want to close this for the cells so we're going to say get syntax we're going to copy that and create our last alert for uh, this indicator and just remember to select exit short now this is how it's going to look like for the cell and we can just click on create so right here we now have the uh, board basically set up and it's going to listen for both longs and shorts and the exits so this is going to be really as simple as it is and as soon as there's going to be a new flag 
we'll get an alert right here and it's going to push that trade up, uh, into our buy bit. So I'm going to see if I can get a live example or what I can do is I can maybe recreate this on a lower time frame so that we can get uh, faster signals. So um, I accidentally forgot to record this so uh, what I did was I cleared the logs and we'll just wait for the close to fire and then we'll see for the, the next uh, open to actually see how it opens up the trade on Bybit but uh, we can also see how it works when there's a, a closing signal so what would happen is we'll get that short exit flag and then we'll send the request to close this trade so i'm just gonna uh, keep recording this so that we can see how it close another thing i uh, think i forgot to mention was that i did change this to the 10 seconds and you'll see as well on the right the alerts are now set on 10 seconds this is just to have uh, faster alerts so i don't have to spend a lot of time waiting to actually get a signal because when you use like the hourly or the 30 minute chart you can wait a long time to actually receive these so they might be a bit inaccurate as well because we are using them on the 10 second but it's just good to show you how it works okay so right there we got the short exit and you can see immediately again it closed that trade for us now I'm just going to keep this a bit longer and maybe we can get the long as well so we can see uh, how it looks like when it opens up a trade because I didn't miss recording the, the previous one. But I hope you guys saw uh, the, the exit so it closed the full position that we had open for the short. Now when you use other functions in the board like reversals you could actually have flipped the, the, the close of the short into a long position as well. So there are different ways you can use that and I will be exploring this in uh, other videos on the channel. It's just I don't want to make this one too long. This should just be a quick setup and also an explanation and also a visual on how the board works. okay so again you can see we received that short and almost immediately it opened the short trade here on the left so now we'll just wait again and you will see that um, when the next exit basically fires it will close that trade or another way you can do this on the board itself if you go to uh, the close section you can actually click on close trade with the correct symbol and inputs and you'll see that as soon as you click on ok it's basically doing the same as that you saw in the webhook and it sends that close for us now you can also do this on uh, strategies but when you're going to do this on strategies it's going to be a, a bit more complicated since you have to basically code the syntaxes uh, in or you have to create the input box where you can add this to the indicator. Now I will make a, another video on exactly how you can do this but I just want to share a new indicator that I'm working on. This is actually going to be a strategy. Now the way this uh, indicator works is it's only going to be taking longs and it has a fixed stop loss but a trailing take profit. Now this way we can basically uh, benefit from our uh, trade so that we can have the winners run and we cut our losers uh, short. So I will be sharing updates on this as well in the Discord. So if you're not in the Discord, make sure to join. And if you guys like this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.